Psychopathy is the most malevolent personality trait of the Dark Triad. Psychopaths are typically bold, impulsive, have low empathy, are antisocial, selfish, remorseless, disinhibited, and egotistical. As noted in the previous videos, although each side of the Dark Triad is uniquely different, all three personalities share some similar traits such as dishonesty, callousness, and manipulation. The Ramses and Miang analysis videos highlighted these overlapping behaviors, and for Graph it's no different. Also one thing I want to note is that it could easily fit into the same side as the Dark Triad as Graph, because Graph is essentially Lacan's id. Freud viewed psychopathy as a malformation of the superego, which in this game refers to Lacan and Faye, both of whom had their superego personalities twisted in some fashion. We're going to focus on Graph in this video, but know that a lot of what I'm going to talk about in psychological terms could be applied to Faye's id in almost every respect. The life that existed before Graph was an incarnation of the contact known as Lacan. Now Lacan's personality is really the opposite of Graph's. Lacan was selfless and kind and caring, but Lacan was no stranger to loss either. His parents were killed when he was six, but found comfort in Ellie when he was eight. Later as a young adult, Lacan and Ellie fell in love with each other, but they each had to suppress their own feelings due to her position as the Holy Mother of Nissan. Ellie felt powerless that she could not express her feelings as she had to keep up the appearance of Sophia. This information is important to know because it plays a big role in the creation of Graf. When she sacrificed herself a few years later in the Shavat Solaris War, the grief Lacan experienced from another loss of a loved one, combined with the powerless feelings both of them felt in regards to their relationship with each other, was too much for him to bear. Miying, knowing Lacan could be manipulated into doing her will, enticed Lacan with immense power by making contact with the Zohar. However, at this point, his existence as a contact was incomplete since the anti-type was dead and he had not fully awakened yet. This, combined with his own feelings of powerlessness and anger, encouraged the acceptance of forming a destructive personality as long as it would give him even more power. And so Lacan's personality split in two, and Graf was created. Eventually, Lacan's body dies and he transmigrates into the next contact. But due to Ellie's insistence that Lacan lives, Graf learned a power which allows him to possess others' bodies. Thus, when Graf's will moves on to a new host from Lacan's original body, he is separated entirely from him but still retains his memories despite his entire existence just being a physical manifestation of Lacan's will. It's important to stress what exactly Graf is, a personification of the feelings and goals Lacan had to become the most powerful being in order to end all life to prevent further suffering. Graf is also Khan, as the latter is able to retain some form of control similar to Faye and Id's dynamic. Miang had her own intentions and knew she could take advantage of Lacan's despair and calculated that Lacan's contact with the Zohar would twist his personality into something she could benefit from. She needed to reset humanity since the current state of humans was not trending on a path that would facilitate the resurrection of Deus. She also wanted to test the ancient 10,000 year old mobile weapons which were created to be used as Deus' army. Graf, with the latent powers of the contact, combined with the power of the incomplete contact with the Zohar, wiped out 98% of humanity using those terminal interface weapons, and this event was dubbed the Day of Collapse. Graf felt no guilt for his actions despite the massive genocide he committed. Humans around this time were demonstrating ether abilities. Roni, with his allies, which included Solaris, piloted the Omni Gears that members of the Gazelle Ministry died in while fighting against Graf, and they were able to destroy all of the Diabolos corps though Graf managed to escape somewhere unknown. After Graf's defeat and in a weakened state, Lacan's personality regains control and Lacan witnesses the destruction and questions whether he did it or not, as he has no memories of the rampage. Very similar to how Id can control Faye, Lacan's Id is Graf. At this point, Lacan's personality likely never resurfaces as Lacan cannot deal with the guilt of the destruction he's caused. Nine years after the day of collapse, Lacan's physical body dies and he transmigrates into a new contact, though Graf lives on through the possession of others. His goal is to eventually possess a reincarnated contact, become complete, and merge with the Zohar, though at some point he does become aware this is not a possibility as he can never be a true contact again. He suppresses this thought until Faye's personalities reunite in Bethlehem. More than 80 years after the day of collapse, Graf discovers the contact of this era, a reincarnated child Fay, and attempts to merge with him. But Fay's father Khan attempts to stop him. During this struggle, Fay unleashes his powers and Karen breaks free of Miang's control and saves her son from the energy beam, but dies in the process. 
Unable to cope with this, he places the blame on the coward personality and it emerges as his own separate personality. Now instead of merging with id, Graf travels and trains with him for around 10 years while Khan searches for his son. Graf unleashes id in order to quell an uprising against Solaris in the country of Elru. Under the command of Graf, it wipes out nearly every living thing in the country, though few survive. However, a few years later, Khan finds Graf and id and Graf attempts to merge with id, but Khan fights back again and wins since Graf's body is weak. Khan is able to seal the id personality away within Fey. Needing a new host though, Graf possesses Khan, but he underestimates the will of Khan and he is never able to fully suppress his consciousness. And for certain moments, Wiseman, a personality of Khan that is ashamed of himself for what happened to his family, is able to gain control for a short amount of time. Graf is also responsible for Weltal's role in the destruction of Lahan, as it was Graf who convinced Gebler to send Ellie to capture Weltal from Kislev and organize it so that Weltal would crash land in Lahan and awaken Id due to the chaos. Graf needed Id to awaken in order to fulfill his plan of destroying everything, and he enticed Faye in a way that would lead Id to becoming the dominant personality again. When Graf meets Faye for the first time near Lahan, he shows no remorse for the lives lost in Lahan, calling them vermin, blamed Faye for the destruction caused, and lies to and manipulates Faye into continuing to live in order to find the truth about his father and what Faye's purpose is. Graf has an added power where he's the only one who can modify the slave generators of other gears to increase the amount of power they receive from the Zohar. He does this to the gears Vandercom, Stone, and Shakan. Psychopaths see others around them as tools to be played with, and Graf takes pleasure in giving power to others in order to satisfy his own goals, even if they don't want it. Graf is a calculating figure, but his actions can be bold and impulsive. He never shows remorse, in fact he takes pleasure in the destruction and death he causes. His goal of eliminating everything is entirely for his own selfish reasons as he puts his own personal feelings above everyone else's because he is unable to feel empathy, except for Ellie, as Lacan's will survives solely because of her. We see some of the humanity that exists towards Ellie with Graf when he saves her from the nuclear blast and also when he doesn't attack her when they are fighting on the wing of the Goliath. Graf is a shadowy figure and is as typical with psychopaths, they are antisocial and prefer to work alone though they have no qualms about using other people in order to achieve their goals. Groff doesn't directly work with anyone, as his ultimate motive differs from Miang and Krellian's, even if they share the same goal of resurrecting Deus. We know that Lacan showed remorse for the day of collapse, but Graf was remorseless. He's also egotistical in that he believes he's in control of everyone when that is not the case, as it is Miang who controls him. Although psychopathy is a personality disorder and thus the behavior cannot be changed, studies show that in certain circumstances, even psychopaths have what is called an empathy switch which can be turned on or off. Khan is shown to be the good that can exist with an evil, and Bethlehem, despite Graf's psychotic behavior for more than 500 years, his empathy switch turns on when he is finally defeated after Faye fully awakens as the true contact and realizes that he has no chance of succeeding with his own goal, but that Faye does. Graf stated throughout the game that his purpose was to end all life so that no one has to feel suffering anymore, and his method of doing so was by wiping out all of humanity. But when he realizes Faye can achieve the same goal by defeating the Arabolus Ring without having to wipe out humanity in the process, he commits the only selfless act of his existence and ends up saving Faye and probably the entire universe by sacrificing himself as the incomplete contact into the Zohar to buy time for Faye's party to finish Deus off. Although this isn't mentioned anywhere, I believe that Khan and Graf merged their personalities here the same way that Faye did. His sacrifice allows the small part of Lacan that exists within him, which still has some power of the contact, to return to Faye, effectively erasing Graf as he cannot exist without a host, but allowing the residual spirit of Lacan to merge with Faye. Khan, who had been having an internal struggle with Graf throughout the game just like Id had with Faye, dies as well. Before Graf fully perishes, he informs Faye that it was Karen and not Miang who saved him, as the 10,000 years of Miang's stranglehold on her transmigration into women had weakened over time, allowing his mother Karen to take control and save her son at the cost of her own life. Graf's final compassionate acts, despite his long history of violence, is what gives Graf substance as a villain, and while it doesn't absolve him of his crimes, it shows an element of humanity that can exist even in the most evil of souls that was created out of a desire for power in order to prevent suffering by killing everyone.